What's going on, guys? Rafi614 here. Thanks for all the likes. I'm already at 628 subscribers. I am so pumped, so grateful about that. I've, I've, um, I don't even know how to say this, like, grown in, in, in this YouTube world uh, mighty fast, I would say. I'm very, very grateful. Don't forget that at 750 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away something. I'm not going to say yet what it is. But I'll be giving away something. And I know I haven't been posting videos as often as of any hauls because it's been kind of slow. But I'm back. And I got a few things I found. And it'll be a mix of uh, little haul stuff that I picked up. And mail call. Got three boxes I'm going to open that I uh, kind of have a feeling what's in it. But we'll all find out together. So, um... What can I say? Thank you for your support. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll be making a video about my visit to PAX East yesterday. Uh, I'll do it tomorrow. I wasn't able to go more than one day, and then a whole bunch of things happened. From hitting a pothole and got a bubble on the side of my tire, getting there late, going by myself. I, I, you know, I spent a few hours and got kind of bored. Now that it wasn't awesome. There was a whole bunch of awesome stuff, but I kind of got bored because I was by myself. But anyway, I'll show you guys in the video. So let's get right away with the haul. Um, I'm going to start, start with the stuff that's open. So anyway, um, my buddy Angel, he hooked me up with that Chase Daryl from Walking Dead. And now he hooked me up with this. Got the re reverse Deadpool Dorbs. It looks pretty cool. GameStop exclusive. If you guys didn't know, now you guys know. So I'll put them. Uh, I think I'll put them right there. Yeah, let's put them right there. Uh, next thing that I've picked up today, because I have forgot to order or pre-order, and they have one left at my GameStop, and that is the Stay Puffed Marshmallow Man uh, GameStop exclusive Dorbs XL. Look how cool this is. <laughs> He's all burnt out. <laughs> pretty cool, pretty funny. We'll put him right there. All right. Um, what else? Um, oh, so today I went by uh by GameStop. Something about the minifigures, the the mystery minis that's been caught my attention. I walked into a Target. It was an untouched box of the horror classic, uh, mystery minis. And this is the Series 2. And I noticed in the back that there's two. What well, seems to be like two different um, figures. They're exclusives. So I picked up these two. I went by the heavy because this, uh, this little. Um, I can't even pronounce his name. But you guys will know if I get him who he is. Um. One of the figures is the glow in the dark. Anyway, I can show you guys. Um, the guy right there in the green. And what I did is I grabbed them. And all these three felt kind of heavy. I don't know if he's supposed to be heavy. But I think I'm assuming the heavy in these mystery minis is good. So we're about to find out. Yeah, do this quick. Uh, it's time to like. Lord, this voice down like being loud. Sesson, knucklehead. Everybody says so he's got a big mouth. All right. Are you ready for this? I don't know what it is. We'll find out. And this is whoever this guy is has a shovel in his hand with blood splatter. And he's a little scruffy. And he's a, he needs to shave. I know the light is right there. But it says, I got wood. No funny business. All right. Next. Since I don't know who that guy is, I might end up putting it on my page for sale if you guys are interested. All right. Next. Let's see what we got in here. Oh, look at this. I was hoping for something cool. And there is. I'm keeping this one. Look at that. Yeah, 
up, buddy? He looks mean. Looks like he has rabies. Maybe he has blood splatter because he smacked the, the wolf or whatever that is and cracked his head open and blooded everywhere. I don't know. Oh, Lord. I know these plastics are supposed to keep them protected, but, you know. <clears throat> Gotta try and make you guys laugh. All right. Let's see what we got on her. If you guys go for these things and don't want the guy with the freaking shovel, don't go for the heavy ones. So, these two guys are seeing which one is going to hit the dog, or I mean the wolf first. I don't know. That's it. Nope, last time buying those. Nope, don't like them. Mm -mm. All right, so... Got two boxes. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys is nothing about Pops, but be you guys know I like Batman. So I collect or started collecting the, the metals die cast. And um, I have the Batman one. And my buddy Steven, shout out to my buddy Steven in Australia, has showed me that they don't just do the actual Batman, Superman, Aquaman, and Wonder Woman uh, die cast metal figures. Um, they actually do the Batmobile, and I didn't know. So for like over a month since I found out and he showed me that picture, I wanted to get the actual Batmobile, and I've been looking everywhere. Uh, Target, Walmart, um, Toys R Us. No luck. So yesterday on my way back from Pax East, I was near about three towns away from my town, and I, I don't know, must be the pop hunter instinct or, you know, uh, it was, um, it made me just get off the highway real quick and run to a GameStop. And then I ran into a Toys R Us, see if I could find any, you know, any pops. And I so happened to walk in the aisle where all the Batman and Superman stuff is. And I found it. And it is so awesome. It's from the uh, Diecast Metals, which is from Jada Toys. And you can actually build this. See the tires all the way on top? These are actually made out of die cast metal. You can see right there. How cool is that? I had to get it. Like, I really wanted it. So I'll probably do a video showing you guys how building the actual Batmobile and putting together the actual uh, Batman figure. So now we're going for the big stuff. I know you guys can't wait. Out of the big stuff, I'm going to start with the small stuff. If that makes sense. This is from my buddy Jermaine. Shout out to my buddy Jermaine and Fester up in uh, upstate New York. Um, I be helping them. And I've helped some of you guys uh, by sending you guys some uh, pops or whatever you guys might need. Um, I can do that to a certain limit because I can only, I can't imagine all 620 of my subscribers asking for one pop, and I'm not, I'm gonna need a tractor trailer or something to carry all those pops and send them out. But I try to help you guys as much as I can. Um, let me see if I have my keys or something to open this up. Uh, I think I do. And in here, there's something. Um, I tend to help my buddy Jermaine and, and Fester up in New York. Um, by getting them pops and minis they can't find where they live. And um, and in this case, I traded a Robin from Teen Titans pop for these two exclusive minis. And I think it was it was worth it. Um, these are exclusives and, you know, Robin is already um, vaulted. So I traded my buddy, you know, Robin for these two. And <laughs> yes, I'm gonna show you. I'm excited for both. I'm gonna show you ones that I'm at least excited, but I'm still excited. And this will be the Walgreens exclusive Vision Mystery Mini from the new Civil War um, set. You see how like he's transparent or see through from the waist down. Oh, that is so awesome! So I have that. 
Now this, <laughs> I'm extremely excited. Because when it comes to Marvel, you guys know I'm Team Iron Man. And I love the Hulkbuster. So he, <laughs> look at this. He's supposed to be a mini, but he's huge. It's the Hulkbuster mini. Oh man, I can't even, I don't even know. I think he's almost as big as a Dorb if you put him, look. He's he's pretty much as tall as a Dorb's. So I'm super happy about that guy. My Hulkbuster, thanks to my boy Jermaine up in New York. All right, it's going good. Now, I believe I know what's in here. Straight from Funko, from the Funko shop. You guys, in case you guys are not aware, but. You guys go to Funko.com. There's like the Funko shop and order stuff. This, I believe it is, one out of 500 Freddy, um, Freddy Funko um, pop exclusive or Funko shop exclusive. Um, as soon as I saw this, because I got an email, I went and ordered it. And it was a limit one per customer. And I believe they only made 500 of them. And I think that's what this is. I'm about to find out. And a box inside of a box. Funko. Funko. All right. Now I'm going to open this box. And there's going to be another box inside this box. And then another one. No, sorry. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> this is so cool. Perfect condition. Funkoshop.com exclusive, and he's holding the sign. This is awesome. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. This is my second Freddy Funko pop. Put them right there. And now, what you guys probably don't know because I didn't say nothing. Today, I received the Captain America Civil War box for Marvel Collector Corpse. Yeah, buddy. Look at that. That is awesome. So, I am about to unbox this, and we're going to find out what came in it. All right. If I find where the thingamajig is, the tape, yep, it's right there. It's right there. All right. Y'all ready for this? I am ready for this. Oh, this is nice. I can't see. You. Yeah, let me stop messing with you guys. I ain't got all day. So, first thing I saw here, it's, I think this is crossbones, right? Yeah, I believe this is crossbones patch. Close the corpse. I got a collect corpse pin. <laughs> Black Panther. Yeah, buddy. Oh, man. Look at this art right here. You guys see that? That is awesome. It's pretty much the same design here. But we have War Machine Falcon, Agent 13, Ant Man, Vision. Oh, it's a whole fighting scene. He looks pretty awesome. So, here we go. What is this? April 2016. The t-shirt design in this box is inspired by the initial sketch, which received an anonymous consensus from the Marvel Collector Corp's creative team for the first time. Concepts catch final printed shirt the unmasked I, okay hold on let me not read this yet because I want to know what's in here I 
extra large. I usually order large because I'm short and I wear extra large. You wear big stuff when you're short, you look shorter. That's what happens with me. Um, looks like... There you go. And I'll kind of like... That is awesome. That is too freaking awesome. And it looks like on May 5th, the movie comes out the 6th, but in uh, theaters right nearby, I'm going to be watching Captain America Civil War the night before it releases uh, in 3D with the fam. So it looks like I know what I'm wearing that day. And most likely, I'll watch it that day, and I'll probably watch it another day right after because that movie is going to be amazing. So get a shirt, pin. We got a patch. I almost forgot what it was. Oh, ho, 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 ho. hold up. I almost dropped it. Look at this lanyard. Ah! This is awesome. Yeah, buddy. I am so rocking the crap out of this. That is awesome. You know what? I'm going to wear it right now. All right, and this is, oh, this is too cute. Black Panther, Marvel Collector Corpse. Is this like a, it also like, like a pop comic. Look at that. That's too cute. Loving it. Oh, dude. Dude. Look at this. Exclusive Marvel Collector Corpse Unmasked Iron Man Dorbs. You'll have to tell me twice. Team Iron Man. Woohoo! Yeah, buddy. I'll put them right there. Put them right there. And, oh, man. Yep, there's nothing else in there. That's it for today, guys. Have take care. Yeah, right. Strike a pose. Look at this. I am loving it. Guys, look at that. That is awesome. Look at the way Iron Man looks. He's just up in the air, just ready to shoot Captain, and Captain's just sideways with his shield. Like, man, I'm not afraid of you. <laughs> this is awesome. I am extremely happy with my, my with my Marvel Collector Corpse box. Although, not for nothing, Funko. You guys, if you guys are hearing, listen to me. Or you guys gotta share this and tag my Funko. I was literally expecting something different, and I'm not complaining because I love everything that came out of this. I was expecting a uh, Spider-Man pop holding Captain America's shield, just like in the uh, like in the uh, trailer. That's what I was expecting, but I'm I'm not gonna complain whatsoever. I am so happy. This is today's haul. Look at this. You got the uh, got the the oh my god the comic got me a shirt got me a pin got me a patch got me Freddy you know what put them up here Freddy got Iron Man got um, Iron Man and Captain. We got Vision, we got Hulk, Buster, these other guys that I I don't I don't care about those beanies. I'll sell them to somebody. So, all right. You see, I had missed the Guardians of the Galaxy Collective Corpse box. I did, and uh, I might have to order it because I really want it. I really want it. But anyway. Back here, this is what I was reading. I think I could read it now, now that everything came out. Look at that. Hold it up for a few seconds so you guys could take a real good look at it. 
All right. Now that you guys saw that, I'm going to read this real quick. So I was reading about the actual, I'm going to zoom in. Uh, it was a concept sketch. And then, of course, the final of how it looks right there. So that was supposed to be the sketch right there. And then the final look of the shirt. Um, okay, the unma unmasked Iron Man Dorbs were originally planned as a chase variant for the Civil War line. Uh, we worked with the Marvel brand team to ensure that the details on each figure are true to form for every character. Color callouts. All right, so, okay, uh, then... This Black Panther number one variant cover was designed by Funko artist Amos Amos Maldonado. Marvel Publishing received the final cover art one day before going to print. Okay. What else? The box was originally going to contain a Falcon Captain America pop, as well as introduce a new line from Funko. Uh, plans change at the last minute to include a pop two pack in order to meet production deadlines. Funko skipped the concept stage and went straight to sculpting stage. So there might be this sounds like they might have some uh, somebody's gonna come out. Maybe, maybe I'm not saying I'm just trying to interpret this. It looks like they might come out with a different, different Falcon. Unless they were talking about the Hot Topic exclusive Falcon. Uh, the Amazing Mar Marvel brand team approved this in only 24 hours, which was the two-pack. Um, we wanted to launch the second year of Marvel Collector Corps by providing a home for all your pins. And that's exactly what I'm going to use this for, is to all my co Collector Corps pins will be on this. Although I was rocking one of them. Um... Uh, which one was I rocking? I think it's like, uh, it looks like War Machine, I think it was. And um, that's what I was rocking yesterday at PAX East. Official Marvel Collective Quartz patches and pins give us the chance to represent even more characters. Yeah, buddy. So, yeah, guys, that's about that's it for tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed it and got psyched up. If you guys didn't order the Marvel Collective Corps, um or subscribe to it yet, I don't know what you guys are waiting for. It's like 25 bucks plus tax and shipping. Uh, it comes up to like 31 20, 25 like $32 roughly. That's deducted from your account every two months. And it's it's guarantee of, you know, $50 value inside of it for pretty much $30. So you can't go wrong. I mean, this here right now itself, I mean, every single thing that came out of there was worth every single penny. So, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be uploading a video of my visit to PAX East. It's not going to be that long because I didn't really spend much in there or record it. It was too much, too much to record. I was a little overwhelmed. But um, I do tell you that if you guys are planning on going next year, don't go by yourselves. I learned that the hard way. And if you guys could, if you guys go in for one or two days, try to get the tickets and try to, you know, get a... Um, what you call it in a hotel or room, and you have to go for three days. Go with friends or family, with gamers, with people that like all that stuff, because they have some real, real good stuff there. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I played um, uh, Ratchet and Clank. I played Uncharted 4. Um, the displays and, and and things they had there. I did a little quick walk around, so you guys will see um, the video tomorrow. So. Guys, thank you for everything. You guys are the best. I'm going to keep on bringing stuff or doing videos. I'm trying to catch up. Um, I do believe this week and next week we should be getting some stuff. If not, uh, for the for the first two weeks of, of May, we'll be getting some real good stuff. Uh, I'm working on doing inventory of my whole collection so I can do an extra video. I'm going to do a video with the... Uh, uh, building the batman um uh oh the cameraman's choking over there uh <laughs> um i'm gonna keep on looking for material for stuff 
uh, and I have to work on my R2D2 vehicle because uh, May 7th is going to be Funko Day at Wild Bill. So I am going to be there and they're actually expecting me to bring the car. Um, so yeah, thanks for everything. You guys are the best. I couldn't do this without you guys, without your support. I really do appreciate every single one of you guys. The comments, the, the everything, the likes, the shares, the 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 watching me play, you know, stream live, and you know, I I, I appreciate. It. I really do. I want to 628 subscribers. This is amazing. And you know, as things go, you know, as, as time goes by and things get better, I will have more stuff to do. I want to be able to travel to different. Uh, states and stuff so i'm i'm working on it kinetic uh the kinetic con that'll be i believe is october i think it is or it's in july i don't even remember but i'll, I'll keep you guys up updated with that uh mohegan sun uh, casino is gonna have uh, uh a comic con and uh i am trying i can't promise anything i'm not gonna keep my hopes up or way too high but I'm going to see what I can do to try to go to New York Comic Con as well to E3. Um, yeah, that's going to be a tough one. But I'll, I'll see what I can do to go to E3. If it gets to the point for me to go to E3, like buy the tickets and be able to go over there and enjoy the three, four days that it is. If I have to sell uh, one of my vehicles, like, you know, I, I would I would do that because it's, it's sort of a sacrifice sort of kind of an investment um and it's something i like to do so you know i could always buy another vehicle um but that's what i'm thinking about so yeah guys thank you for everything i've thanked you guys so many times and i'm always do that because i am very very appreciative of your support Alrighty, so don't forget to hit the thumbs up share leave comments suggestions all that good stuff and uh i'll see you guys tomorrow later gator